hey, we're in the next part, so please go check out um, the previous part to gauge your bearings. Um, yeah, I was explaining the kingdom of darkness and how it is that this cousin of mine got greedy. She got super greedy, and she now wanted to knock me over and be bigger and stronger than me. She didn't have not didn't have the qualifications. Remember, her CV was bereft in the sense that in it, let's all of these like musical chairs games that she was playing in the beginning of her career. So, that kind of a sketchy curriculum vita. seriously for a very haughty job, especially considering you don't have the experience or the qualifications. All the qualifications. So, to overcome or overwhelm that, to suddenly grow above Garabo, all Nali need, her ducks were in a row because she was competitive with me. Uh, she was then uh, made to basically ditch the lower order Sangoma Mutsuzenga, the first job. She realized that the kingdom of darkness is a real thing, it's a real deal, it actually works. She got a job through it. Obo no Rintoya Seweza to a certain extent. And upon realizing that this thing has some kind of power, she then decided that she wanted way more than what she had. Unabata, never mind just a career, but a prolific one. Unabata, mantu. Unabata, dikoloi. Unabata, but better than me. She made everything about me. Like, cheeky. Anyway, whatever. That's the thing when you idolize a human being. Anyway. Yeah, no. She wanted to be me, this cheek, this cousin. And she knew that she would never ever get there with her lackluster CV and her uneducated state. So she sought out loftier witch doctors. I do not know how she found them. Because the thing that she is involved in, until uh, I'm involved in your Nagajego, is so sophisticated and high level that these are not the kinds of sangomas that you just find out about over dinner. Like, the, you have to kind of be trusted. You have to know somebody who knows someone that knows another someone. So, Anga Zuguchi, how she found out. But she definitely left the the, 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 the low-income sangoma. Let's call it that. You know how Unana Gwagu has got, like, cars for days and mansions. Unaldi sangoma that wish they could just get a three-bedroomed house. Otro Hezidi low-income sangoma. A lot better, a prolific. And I guess I don't know how they find each other. But it is in then finding this much more intense and incredible witch doctor that she was then introduced to much more nefarious rituals. She was told, just like I guess anybody, any celebrity trying to get a rap career, she was told, oh, so you got a job, congratulations. Now you want to basically run the whole company that you got a job in. Huh, okay, interesting, you're very ambitious. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's not the kind of thing that goes easily. I'm not going to be content with the blood of cows and chickens. I'm not going to be content with just a little candle ritual. This is going to require a lot more out of you. You're going to have to drink some blood and you're going to have to sacrifice someone in your family. You're going to have to sacrifice a person to get to that level. This is not the guy. Remember, at this stage, Satan, you know, build it up. In the kingdom of darkness, every time you consult a sangoma, a witch doctor, every time you consult a spiritist, a demon enters you, or a bunch of demons, a legion of demons, and what demons do is they sear our conscience. You stop thinking normally. You become mean, cold-hearted, ill-spirited. And so by the time you do rituals where you're drinking blood and you are killing family members, you are so calloused. You are such a zombie. You are so unfeeling and so unemotional that it is feasible. You can see it. You, you like you can fathom the death of Mewahao. You can fathom the death of your best cousin. It, it's nothing to you. It's just Ubulala, your best friend. The devil gets them there. He doesn't just immediately be like, you're in the occult. Bula Mewahao. Rituals that put like demons inside people, and then once these demons are inside these people, they are so unfeeling that it becomes feasible for them to murder a mother, a dad, a sister, a cousin. The blood of cows and chickens is no longer enough. Now we want human blood. That's where human sacrifice comes in. If you want to be an executive, if all of a sudden that that would have had to go to university for five years and work for ten would get Ilorwana you've only got four years of experience, work experience and no official university qualification. You are going to do have to do rituals where people die and also ukansi sex. You're going to have to do sex rituals. You're going to have to sleep with people you don't know. And you are going to have to do it about condoms and all that jazz. Married or not. There are things that you just cannot get. Orgies are like a whole thing in the occult. 
They are like a whole thing. And a lot of these people who are in lofty positions, like no man's business. Think about this dude, one more South Africa, he's obviously possessed, like no man's business. Um, uh, Who is he? Maybe I shouldn't even know. Who are these celebrities? They put their, their laundry, dirt, and everything out for everybody to see anyway. How it is that he has sex parties. Ngulu, Kimangulago. Mkati or whatever, stembiso mkati, no, stembiso skoza or something. Anyway, the dude all the the queen, all on ali pizile babi monacheri. Yeah, you know how the dude is just crazy in front of everybody. And uh, the doctor that he like was fiance yachache, the dentist chick, he was busy beating her up. This uh, his demon possessed. How can we exercise our self control? And every so often he shares on social media footage of sex parties sex parties orgies yeah that is a person he has done money rituals he has done um wealth rituals and what they have converted him into is a menace to society is a sex slave addict and also a, a person who does rituals in broad daylight for everybody to see that he might maintain his wealth there was a time when he t- uh, took a photo on instagram where he was um I think he was doing the number one. Most that thing, you know how men just whip it out and do the number one. And Izyahaha was just out. And he called, he got somebody to take a photo of that butt of his. And then he just uploaded that on Instagram. That is a man that has got some kind of... It's like Britney Spears all of a sudden shaving her head in front of all to see. They they get made crazy in public. Because there are rituals that have to be done even in that capacity. Right? They end up by Zilaza. And Wunalik, like I said, a very strong sexual component of it as well. You do not just get an, a, a job as a general manager overnight. Um, in like a, a, a very severely administrative job without doing a human sacrifice ritual and also some kind of a sex ritual where there's involvement of exchange of bodily fluids with other people similarly involved in the occult and it is without protection. I cannot say that enough. I'm pressed to pee, guys. I would speak for another minute if that was not the case. Let me go use the bathroom, come back, and we're going to finish this conversation.